Our next topic is superposition. Superposition is another useful circuit analysis technique. The basic idea of superposition is that if you have a circuit with multiple independent sources, you would like to evaluate the output response, then apply each independent source once at a time, and we will set the other sources to be zero. The total response will be the sum of the responses caused by each independent source. Let's show you that through illustration. So let's assume we have a big circuit that's represented by a box here. Within the circuit, we have three independent sources, and we are interested on the voltage across the load resistor. To use the superposition concept, we will apply one independent source at a time. Basically, we will set the other sources to be zero. When you set the independent sources to be zero, if it is a voltage source, it becomes a short circuit because short circuit has zero volt. If you have a current source, you would like to set this current source to zero, you make it open circuit. Open circuit has zero amps. If we would use superposition in this circuit, the first thing we would do is we would apply the first voltage source and we will set the other two sources to be zero. So the voltage source becomes short circuit and the current source becomes open circuit. Then we will solve for the voltage across the load caused by the first voltage source. We will call the response caused by the first voltage source to be VL1. Once we do that, then we will apply the current source and we will set the two voltage sources to be zero. So we will replace the voltage sources by two short circuits. We will analyze the circuit with the forced current source into it and we will solve for the load and we will call it VL2. Finally, we will apply the third source, which is a voltage source, and we will kill the first two, which are the voltage source and the current source. So the voltage source becomes short circuit, the current source becomes open circuit. And we will solve for the response caused by the third voltage source, we will call it VL3. And now, to find the total response of the circuit, we can state that VL will equal to the sum of all those three responses, which are VL1 plus VL2 plus VL3. In summary, to use superposition, we apply one independent source at a time and we set all other sources to zero. When we set voltage sources to zero, we replace them with short circuit. And when we set current sources to zero, they become open circuit. Then we analyze the circuit for all the sources. Then the total response will be the sum of all the responses caused by each source.